In this video, we will start the Oracle functions. Basically, while retrieving or fetching the data, we may come across a situation like we want to manipulate the data to some extent. So we can go for the functions for that purpose. Basically, function is a set of statements which performs a specific task. But here, we are going to work with some predefined functions. So we will just focus on the functionality like what they are asking and what they are returning. So whenever we want to supply a value in a function, we can do that through the parameters and those parameter value will be processed by the function and then they will return the processed data. You can also call the nested functions like calling function inside another function so that the processed value of the inner function will be used by the outer function call. We will see that while implementing the functions. But here you can classify the functions into two major parts that is the single row function and multi row function. Single row function are the one which are applied on each row of a table and returns one record per data means if I'm applying a function on a table having 10 rows so this particular function will be applied on each row of those uh, table and it will return one result per record all right so the output will also be the 10 rows if there are 10 rows in your table and multi row function multi row function or group function means when a function is applied on the multiple rows of a table but it returns a single value by processing all the data for example if you want to make a total of all the salaries so total is going to be a single value so that that is how you can classify the single row function and multi row function but right now we will just cover the single row function and these single row functions can be classified into these various parts depends on the uh, type of operation they are performing so character functions number functions date functions conversion functions and general functions character functions as the name says whenever you want to pass some functionalities for the characters like var care or care you can go for the character functions Similarly, number functions if you want to do some manipulations with the numeric values. Date functions will give you some functionality for processing the dates and times. Conversion functions will do the type casting means if you want to convert a date into a number. So you can do such things by using the conversion functions. And finally, general functions which will let us know how can we deal with the null values. For example, if we have the first name and last name column in our table and I want to concatenate that. So if there is any user who is having null in the last name, so the result will be a null because anything that is processed by a null value will return a null. So we can uh, substitute that null with some other values. So such type of functionalities will be covered here in the general functions that is all for this video but from our next video onwards we will take each of these parts separately and we'll start implementing on that